Genesis chapter 4. And Adam knew Eve as his wife, and she became pregnant and bore Cain. And she said, I have gotten and gained a man with the help of the Lord. And next she gave birth to his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of the sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the course of time, Cain brought the Lord an offering of the fruit of the ground. And Abel brought of the firstborn of his flock and of the fat portions. And the Lord had respect and regard for Abel and for his offering. But for Cain and his offering, he had no respect or regard. So Cain was exceedingly angry and indignant, and he looked sad and depressed. And the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry, and why do you look sad and depressed and dejected? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin crouches at your door. Its desire is for you, but you must master it. And Cain said to his brother, Let us go out into the field. And when they were in the field, Cain rose up against Abel his brother and killed him. And the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel your brother? And he said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? And the Lord said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying to me from the ground. And now you are cursed by reason of the earth, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's shed blood from your hand. When you till the ground, it shall no longer yield to you its strength. You shall be a fugitive and a vagabond on the earth, in perpetual exile, a degraded outcast. Then Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, you have driven me out this day from the face of the land, and from your face I will be hidden, and I will be a fugitive and a vagabond, and will wander on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. And the Lord said to him, Therefore, if anyone kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark or a sign upon Cain, lest anyone finding him should kill him. So Cain went away from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod, which means wandering, east of Eden. And Cain's wife, one of Adam's offspring, became pregnant and bore Enoch. And Cain built a city and named it after his son Enoch. To Enoch was born Irad, and Irak was the father of Mehugal, and Mehugal the father of Methuselah, and Methuselah the father of Lamech. And Lamech took two wives. The name of one was Ada, and the other Zelah. Ada bore Jabel. He was the father of those who dwell in tents and have cattle and purchase possessions. His brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all those who played the lyre and the pipe. Zelah bore Tubal Cain, and he was the forger of all cutting instruments of bronze and iron. The sister of Tubal Cain was Nama. Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, hear my voice, you wives of Lamech, listen to what I say, for I have slain a man merely for wounding me, and a young man only for striking and bruising me. If Cain is avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech will be avenged seventy-sevenfold. And Adam's wife again became pregnant, and she bore a son and called his name Seth. For God, she said, has appointed for me another child instead of Abel, for Cain slew him. And to Seth also a son was born, whom he named Enosh. At that time men began to call upon God by the name of the Lord.